On the streets running reckless, God's chosen Better listen to Yahweh. he has spoken Who told these other nations this book they could open If you're not Israel, then you're not chosen All praises, honour and glory be to Yahweh Bahashem Hamashiach Yahweh Shai Being fooled by our oppressors and all their lies Ruach HaKodesh guides me from this world I'm cutting ties out there on the highways and byways Or edifying the lost sheep of the house of Israel Spirit strong in his faith Man, it's a Native American man, first of all, Jesus, man, showing them who they are according to the Bible, man. It's high time to repent, to believe the gospel, man, to do what's right. It's high time. Let me go back to Deuteronomy 32. Uh, Rabbi, you've got two minutes to go, brother, two minutes. Deuteronomy 32, I believe he's on about. Deuteronomy 32, verse. But just run, wax back, and kick. Deuteronomy 32, verse 17. They sacrificed unto devils, not to gods, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. So you sacrificed unto new gods whom my father didn't even know, whom they didn't even fear. Right? And you wonder why the Lord sent all this destruction of our people to the point where we're putting us up a pad out of a praying box and fighting the king each other. Come on. Of the rock that forget thee, thou art unmindful and has forgotten God that formed thee. And when the Lord saw it, he abhorred them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. Come on. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what the end shall be. And that links up with Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. The Lord says he's going to hide our face from them to see what the end shall be. Come on. For they are a very forward generation. We're a very forward generation. We've got two minutes for the word of God. Two minutes. We've got two minutes for the word of God. We can wait. We can wait. Read on. Children in whom is no faith. Right. Our people don't have faith. They don't believe in God. What's the first thing you do when you walk up in the morning? What's the first thing you do when you walk up in the morning? What's the first thing you do when you walk up in the morning? What's the first thing you do when you walk up in the morning? What's the first thing you do when you walk up in the morning? When you wake up in the morning, you say a little prayer to the inside. Thanking him that you woke up in the morning. You don't have to wake up in the morning. Uh, we go on these uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, all these things. You have to pray to the most high for giving us life every day. A lot of people die every day. You have life. You have to keep the commandments and do what's right. Right? For all these things, right? Read on these. You had a prison. Oh, no. And he said, I will hide my face from them and I will see what the end shall be. For they are a very poor generation, children, in whom is no faith. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not good. Right. So they, anything you do, which is before the most high, ideally if you wake up in the morning, you've got praise to the most high, you go, eat the food, you have to do whatever you want to do, it is now made for God. Whatever you put before the most high, you're made for God. Come on, read on. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities and, and I will move them to jealousy. With those which are not a people. With these people that are not a people. The Lord says, going to move us to anger with these no nation people. Right? Come just in time. Go. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. These foolish people that move their dog but get babysitters. Right? Foolish people. Come on. For a fire is kindled in my anger. For a what? For a fire is kindled in my anger. The Lord said, For a fire is kindled in and shall burn unto the Lord. <laughs> shall burn unto the lowest hell, and shall the lowest hell, and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundation of the mountain. And that's what the Lord is destroying the foundation of the mountain, man. Right? Because hey, we don't want to hearken, we don't want to keep the commandments, we don't want to do what's right, we don't want to love our brothers ourselves. We going to keep hating our brothers, man. It's going to be man of evil, man. That's why all these things keep happening to us. Right? It's not a coincidence that we're the only people at the bottom of the barrel. Right? The 
only have people who wake up, man. But the Lord said, and it's written, only a remnant are going to return, man. Only a remnant. I will help mistress upon them. I will spend mine mine arrows upon them. Hey, the Lord said death and destruction is coming to you if you don't want to keep the commandments. Right? This is why we're living in these evil times. Right? Because it's getting ready to be a, a cleaning, a refreshing, a new beginning, a new start. Right? They shall be burnt with hunger and devoured with burning right. heat and with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them with the poison of serpents of God. The Lord is going to send the teeth of beasts and the poisons right, of the what? Of the ass. Serpents of the serpents. Right? See that? The Lord is going to send hey, clear destruction on the teeth of the dog and take the dog and leave the dog to come on. Sword without and terror within. Sword without and terror within, man. Right? Right? One minute you're going to get killed every second by the police, the next minute you're going to be struggling with the police and terror in your house, right? Come on. Shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also with the man of grey grey hairs. Right? I said I will scatter them into corners. The Lord said he said he's gonna scatter us into corners, man. Right? Like the four corners of the earth and see the so-called black to manage to get the back of come on. I would make the okay, I'll make the remembrance the of Lord them. The Lord said gonna make the remembrance of us to not even be on the earth anymore. But us to call ourselves a colour of a crane box. Us to despise our own women and picking another nation of women once you get a full contract, man. The first thing you wanna do is get a nation that's not of your own people. Now wicked that is, man. Huh? Of them to cease from among men, were it, were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, huh? lest their adversaries shall stood behave themselves strangely. And and that's what adversaries do, they behave themselves strangely. They look down upon us, man, thinking that we're not God's chosen people. But when you read the Bible, you read the Torah, it says the sort of black Hispanics and Native Americans are God's chosen people. And in the place that it was said that they are not God chosen people, in the same place it can be said that they are the children of Israel. Yes, you're right. Come on. Unless they should say, Our hand is high, and the Lord have not done all this. Come on. For they are a nation, boys, boys, of cattle. Right. Neither is there any understanding in them. Right. Or oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider the latter in end. Right. Sister, you've got two minutes for the word of God. Living in the last days, don't let truth and goodness walk away from you. The Lord the commands of God. Right. You go and read on. How should one chase a thousand? Right, read on. And two put no. How should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight? Whoa. Come on set their rock and sold them. And that's where when, even when you watch the hood film there, yeah, you see Jake. Jake will be on the block. And there'll be about 20 of it. And one policeman will come and scare up the whole thing. Go with the brothers. They say, don't go come, don't go come. Because our rock left us, our protection left us. That's why we're so fearful of the other nation, even if they're a small number, man. Come on. How should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight? Except what? Set the rock and sold them, and the Lord has shut them up. For the rock is not as a rock, even as no, even of enemies themselves being judges. Judges. For the vine is of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Com of Gomorrah. The grapes are grapes of God, the clusters are bitter, the wine is the place of dragons, and the cruel, and the cruel venom of asp right. is not this laid up the store with me and sealed up among my treasures. So hey, listen, at the end of the day, our fruits and what we're bearing witness and what we're bearing out of our uh, uh, 
daily living is not coming to uh, the fruition of what we should be doing as we're doing for that. We're not serving a whole sanctuary. That's why all these bad things are happening for our people. Right? So we give them damage going on in Israel, what's going on in Russia and Ukraine. Right? They've got nothing to do with us. Right? Let them all kill each other. Right? They're all uh, imposters anyway. All Romans anyway. Right? We don't. Not just land up the store with me and sealed up my man by treasures right. to me. Belonging vengeance and recompense. Read that last bit again, belonging to what? To, to me. Belonging vengeance and recompense. The Lord said to him, belonging vengeance and recompense. So the Lord's going to recompense for the people that have done for our people. Your elder, how did they go? Look too many people in the book. Read up. And recompense their book shall slide in due time. The Lord said their foot is going to slide in due time. And we're seeing it as well with the apocalypse, right? Their feet are sliding in due time. All that great murder, evil, pillaging, taking from one people, right? Putting another people in the land. It's all coming to an end. World War III is on the way. Your money, your phone, your house can't help you. Look at that. They look confounded. Finish up with that. For the day of their calamity is at hand and the things that shall come upon them make haste. Uh, the Lord said the things that are going to come upon them make haste. It's coming to every man. And you can hold their fire the machine, man. You have to acknowledge your friends to come back to the most high. Uh, Read up. Read up. Read up. Read Hosea 5 verse 15. 15. Hosea 5 verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge the offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. The Lord seems to go to his place till they acknowledge their offense. But in their affliction, when they're getting struck down in the streets, when they got all these diseases, they're going to seek me early. Come on. Hosea 5 verse 15 I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me, seek me early. That is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. So get around the right people, man. We're living in the end, man. No more time for this foolishness of folly, man. That or, or, or fear, man. The God with all kind of computer games or sports. Seek the most high, man. The world's coming to an end, the new world's back to the end. It's high time for our sisters to work, dress in our skirts and head backs, and dress like sisters. Right? And do things decently and in order. We've got this proud spirit, man. The boys want to be like the men. The men want to be like the girls. Oh, it's like the boys want to be like the, um, the Girl. girls, and the girls want to be like the boys, man. It's like a, a, a off gender swapping. Right? The boys want to be girls, and the girls want to be boys. Right, get the next one. We need the gospel. Get my last clue in that piece. Next piece up. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. 12 verse um, 13. 
let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment on every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Mother's womb and naked shower are returned. Fibber. The, the Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. The Lord give you life, the Lord wakes you up and he also can take it away and kill you in your sleep, man. Come on. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So guess what? Blessed be the name of the Lord, the power. Come on. In all this Job said not, nor change, nor charge God foolishly. Yeah. Hey, Job didn't sin. He didn't say, oh, I lost my job, I lost my wife, I lost my children, I lost my cat, I lost my servants. He didn't charge the most and foolish thing to God. Right? He didn't have to live in the times of evil, man. The times of people who can lose everything. We've still got to keep right? the commandments. Right? The times of people that are going to be proud, people are going to wax cold. Right? There's even signs of the evil times in 2 Timothy. You get that, 2 Timothy. You've got a piece of it. I get it after you. Get my one after you. Get my one after you. Times of evil, times of destruction. The Phenaya 1 verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as such as are clothed with strange apparel. And also you're going to punish those that are able to cross it. All those that are clothed and strange of power. You know, you don't need to make them for the demon, man. That's the life of the opposite sex. Right? You're not having a thing to go, man. It's a commandment to wear a ring that's equal to the other. This is the science of the souls that we live in the last days. Yes, first of all, please. Timothy 3 verse 1, yeah? yeah? Verse 1. This know also that the last days... Yeah, 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 yeah. 2 Timothy 3 verse 1. This know also that in the last days... Sister, come in the word of God, sister. Come, come in the word of God. See that? In the last days, glorious times shall come. Perilous times shall come, come on. For men shall be lovers of their own self. This is what we're seeing. Playing up on tables. Right? Come on. Covetous, bolsters. Right? Wanting what another man has. Got the latest car, got a new job, got a new position, and they're boasting. They're boasting in what they've, uh, uh, they've achieved. Come on. Proud. Blasphemous. Uh -huh. Disobedient to parents. Come on. Unthankful. Right. Unholy. Right. Without natural affection. Towards each other, I'll be out of natural affection, man. Come on. 
truce breakers. False accusers, yeah. incontinent, fierce, yeah. despise of those that are good. Uh, they despise the men of the Lord, man. They despise the teachers of uh, uh, the commandments, man. They despise God's chosen people, man. They look down upon us. Right? Come on. Traitors. Yo, come on. Traitors, come on. Heavy, yeah. high bandits, yeah. lovers of pleasures, all the lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power of their own. From such to turn away. Isaiah 3 verse 12 As for my people Children are their oppressors right. And women rule over them Oh my people They which thee be Cause thee to err right. And destroy the way of thy path Come on. The Lord standeth up to plead hey, and So the most high standing up to plead man Come on and standing to judge the people. The Lord's going to judge every single one of them. Judge the people. Right, come on. The Lord will enter into judgment with the agents of his people. Right. And the princes thereof. For you have eaten up the vineyard and the spoil of the poor is in your houses. Right. And the spoil of the poor is in your houses. What means that ye beat my people to pieces? What means ye that ye beat my people to pieces? What means that you beat my people to pieces, man? Even in those times, we had wicked people, man, that hated their own people, man. What mean that you beat my people to pieces and grind the faces to the poor? Grind the faces to the what? To the poor. To the poor. Of the poor. Grind the faces. Moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walking stretchful necks and wanting eyes, walking and mincing as they go and making and tinkling with their feet, therefore the Lord will smite with a scab. So unfortunately now, brother, I'm working too. Hey, the Lord never said to work on a Sabbath day. You can't work today. It's a rest day. I'm working, bro. You can't. Who can stretch forth necks and wanton eyes, who can immense as they go, uh, and making a tingling with the feet. Therefore the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret part. See that? You rather ignore his brother to keep the heathen, man. Right? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Of the head of the daughters of Zion. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Right? Do they and feel like they get some type of bonus or they offer a hierarchy because they're with their enemies? Right? 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 Sick people who the whole head is sick. Come on. Yeah. Right? 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 Right
and the Lord will discover the secret parts. The Lord will discover the secret parts of the women, Like the moon. So the Lord's gonna take away everything as they want to find. Isaiah 1 verse 5. Why should you be stricken anymore? You will fall more and more. The whole head is sick. What the Lord said? The whole head is sick. So our people are sick. The Lord said the whole head is sick. The head represents the top. Come on. And the whole heart faint from the sole of the foot even unto the head of there is no soundness in it. Right, the Lord said, from the sole of the foot even to the what? Even unto the head there is no soundness in it. Right, so from the bottom to the top, from the top to the bottom, the whole head is sick with no soundness in it. People are walking up and down, they live in dead, zombies, dry bones, and it says in the book of Ezekiel, man. Right? So let me get a book of let me get, uh, let me get a book of Romans 30 11. It's high time for people to wake up. So we just try to show our people, trying to tell them wake up, man. Right? We're living in the end times. Right? End times we're living in. It's high time for people to wake up actually. So you've got two minutes for the word of God to start. Romans 13 verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now is a high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation, nearer than we have believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armour of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness. Not in strife and envy, Come on. envy and, and put ye on the Lord. Yahu Shai Mashiach and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Hey, so listen, it's high time to wake up at sleep. Believe the gospel, do it right. The older women teach the younger women to put a dress, head up on a skirt on, and praise them all the time. Get up, the princess. The older women are going backwards. They're trying to be the younger women. So how can they teach the young women anything if they're trying to be the next in thing? Right? So with that, I'm going to say, Kome Asherala, Kome Asherala, Shalom. Shalom. On the streets running reckless, God's chosen Better listen to Yahweh. He has spoken, who told these other nations This book they could open If you're not Israel, then you're not chosen All praises, honour and glory be to Yahweh Bahashem, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai Being fooled by our oppressors and all their lies Ruach HaKodesh guides me from this world I'm cutting ties out there on the highways and byways We're edifying the lost sheep of the house of Israel Spirit strong in this